Nike 1000 and today we are going to make some pillows for outside and everything I have gotten is from Dollar Tree except the filling stuff I had to get that at Walmart so I'm going to show you all the stuff I need so you can do this too so what I did I got the filly stuff I got at Walmart I had no choice they didn't have any at Dollar Tree you're going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need two of these bags from Dollar Tree. I got two different ones. This is all they had at the time, so maybe your store has something different. I'm not really keen on green, but it's going to be for outside and it's going to be cute. And I like this one because it says no drama llama. So that's cute, huh? And you're going to need a glue gun. This is a no sewing pillowcase, so hopefully this will work. Okay, so I'm going to bring it down where you can see pretty much everything here and go from there. All right, so what I'm going to do, it's very simple. It does not take long to do these at all. There, that's better, sorry. And um, you're going to cut off all the stuff on these bags. I think these bags are cute, though. You could use them for a lot of stuff. So, And the only reason I use these bags is because these are going to be for outside. I'm going to use them over there by the fire. So, you know, you have a nice little pillow. I want to put one on my, uh, on my uh, hammock there. So I got something to lay my head on. And if it rains, it don't matter because, you know what? It'll be nice. Okay, I'm going to just cut these off because I don't, you don't need these. So, I'm going to cut them all off and uh, just take them down where they need to be. And, you know, you don't have to tear them all up, you know, the whole thing. Because these are on the inside. But I didn't want to hang them in and then, no. So, I'm going to just take them off because we don't need these. Okay. Uh, any labels or anything? These are cute little bags, though. I really like them. I think they're handy. You could use them for all kinds of stuff, really. But I thought this would be cute for a pillow. You know. So I don't have. It'd be cute to put on the hammock there. Yeah, or you can put it on your chairs, or you could use it on your deck if you have a deck with, you know, a lounging thing on there or whatever. Alright, so I got this. So I'm going to do this one, and then I will do the other one, and you, then we'll come, and I'll bring it back. Okay, so you want to kind of just straighten it out as much as you can. There you go, so... I only got one bag, so I hope this is going to be enough to fill up both of them. And you just stuff it. That's all you're going to do is just stuff it as much as you want. Here, I'm going to keep this stuff away from my candle here. You need no problem. So you want to just stuff it until you feel comfortable. I want to check it. I'll put a little bit more in there. Yeah, I think I'll have enough. And you just stuff it. That's it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the hot glue gun going. And all you're going to do is you're going to seal it with the hot glue gun. Okay? So as soon as I, the heat on the hot glue gun is doing its job, I will be right back. Okay, the hot glue gun is hot and it's ready to go. So I'm just going to bring you over here so you can see and what I'm going to do. So I thought this was cool. This is a no-so thing and it's easy and it gets water. It'll be fine. I think I'm trying to stuff as much in here. It depends how you soft or what you want. I want to make sure those corners are stuffed. So then, um, 
you know, you can have it nice and soft. And I'm going to put some more. Let's <laughs> put more in here. And there we go. Okay. I think that'll be enough. Yeah, be fine. I'm going to make sure I got enough for the other one. Probably take all that that I have left to put in the other one. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do is take the hot glue gun here, if it works. Hopefully, I don't have too much now. And can you see? Let's see. Okay. And I'm just gonna go along the lines here and glue it with the glue gun. Now, you could use. E6000 if you wanted to, but I don't like that stuff really. I don't think it works real good, not for outside anyways. A lot of my stuff that I made for outside has, you know, and also we have a lot of heat here, so I think that might be positive too. Alright, so I'm going to have to come a little closer over here, because I got the, where I got the, um, Glue gun. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, plugged in at so. Okay, so you just want to push this stuff back as much as you can. Get it where you want it. And you want to kind of even it up. If you can see that. Let me see. Ah, I'm getting hung up here. There, that's better. So you can kind of see. Okay. So I'm just going to glue and put a nice amount right across here. I'm going to do one side at a time here. So, yeah, I've got to make my thing here. And you can really kind of, if you want, put these corners in. That's up to you. I'm trying to get it as even as possible. Just let that glue set in. Be careful, it's very hot. Just let it set for a minute on that side. And then we'll try to get the other side going in a minute here. Okay, let me do this side so it takes off some pressure. Hopefully you can see me. And I just applied a bunch in here, back and forth kind of thing. And I just did it on the bottom because once you get it slopped down, it will set in there. And I'll push this back a little bit. it down just like so and just try to get as much glue on there and let it sit yeah it's not easy but it's not hard either it's just you want it even as much as you can it makes it a, a cleaner look you know It's really hot, huh? They really meant it. So, I'm just kind of letting it all get in there. And I'll 
probably put this one on my hammock. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm trying to move the glue a little bit. So. Even more. And just one moment. My phone is going off. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Okay, I was playing with this, and it's okay. I mean, you remember, this is for outside. You know, I'm just going to have it over by my hammock, over by the fire. So if it gets ruined, it's okay. If it gets wet, it's okay because it's plastic. That's why I wanted the plastic bags. And they have little sayings on them, so I thought they would, you know, be cute, right? Well, you got a problem here because the glue... And um, you could sew this probably. It might be a little bit nicer looking. But I'm not much of a sewer. And I like simple. Like most people, you don't have time. You want something to, to you know, do, right? So anyways, this is my first time doing this. So you kind of just got to play with it. So then I got an idea. And I had some flowers. These little doodads. And so you can put these along too, or you could put whatever you want up here to kind of cover it, you know, to put a little decoration on it. Now I could have put some maybe rope or, or ribbon or something to match this, but I really didn't have anything to do that. So, you know, I'm just going to put a couple of flowers here and, uh, you know, it's kind of, kind of makes it a little bit cute, you know. Um, and I only got two of them. I put one on there already so you can kind of see. And I could put it over here in the corner. I'm not too happy with this really, if you want to know the truth. But it, you get the idea. And maybe you play with yours. You know, you could, you know, get it. And these flowers I've had, um, I in fact got them from Dollar Tree a long time ago. So I took them off my, my flower thing. I'm going to buy some new ones, I think, because they have had these a long time. So I took them off of my flower thing up there that I have on my cabinet. So to show you, basically. So I'm going to just kind of put it where it's really bad. You know, I don't want it to show anything if I don't have to, right? You know, it is what it is. So the next one, I think I might fold it in instead of out like I did and see if that will work better you know I'm trying to stuff this down inside a bit but see I already glued it because I didn't know I was going to do this but you know I mean projects is project and sometimes it just doesn't turn out the way you want it to but it, you guys get the idea of what I'm trying to do and um you know, you might come up with your own solution. I could probably, see if I, I can't take this off because you take this off, you're taking the flower off. So I'm gonna kind of just trim this a little bit, make it flatter maybe, maybe that will work. I got the other one in perfectly and now I can't get this one in. So we'll take off some of this glue here, but you know, and uh, Try to make it a little bit neater. You don't want to show all this. I mean, you don't want glue all over you either, you know, when you're laying on your pillow. So, it's more for decoration than anything. So, I'm going to put it maybe there. Let's see, kind of hide that a little bit. And maybe I'll get another one and put over here so I even it out. So, that would be good. That's probably what I need to do, so. Let's see if I can put it here somewhere. And yeah, I see it pretty good though. It's a little crooked, not bad though for my first time. I mean, practice, right? It's perfect. And I thought it was a really kind of cute idea. And you could put whatever you want, any kind of flower you want, daisies, whatever, you know? And you can get them at Dollar Tree with no problem. But I wanted to show you something, you know, cute. And, you know, it's off center a little bit. But, you know, I could put it here and then put one here. But it is what it is. So, And there you go. It's a little crunchy on this side. But, you know, it is what it is. 
so that's my first one I'm going to do the other one just slightly hopefully a little bit different I'm going to fold it in instead um, see if I can cut these off and we'll see um, how it works here but I thought it, these were cute and I was like oh this would be cute and it's mostly just to sit on your chair or your hammock you know when you're not there just to dress up your backyard a little bit you know I got a back porch if you want to use these and you have the screens where everything still gets wet and damp you could use something like this and you might have a better idea I didn't want to use you know cloth because it would just get soaking wet and it wouldn't work so you know, that was why I did what I did. So, and I got the idea, I just don't think I got it completely the right the way I want it. But that looks cute. <laughs> and I'll take it outside and show you on my hammock there. And let me see here. Take this one off. Hopefully you can see. All I'm doing is cutting off the, the things here. Um, yeah. There. So maybe if I use this more like a um, closed in. And my hammock is camouflage, so this would probably look cute on there too. Now, if I could maybe go in and tuck it in and tuck it in here. I don't know. I don't like that one. So I'm gonna put the put the fillet in here. We'll, we'll see how it works. Probably end up the same way. And put as much as you want. And this one I could fill it up a little bit more if I want because you know I could use all of this if I want to. And, uh, I think it'd be cute. But. You got square ends too, and I'm not, I'm not really happy about that. But if you're just using it to sit on there so it looks cute, you know, that's fine. You know. I was thinking, I was trying to make it a little bit neater, you know. I wonder if I got some plants from Shea Bear there that I could hold it down. And maybe that would make it a little bit neater. Still needs more, I think. You gotta push all that stuff down. Because yeah. this one doesn't have a saying on it, so you could use it both ways if you wanted. So we just kind of close them up like that. And glue it down. If you wanted to, after you glue it down, you could fold it. Maybe that? Nah, I don't like that idea. And if I turn it in, you know, it's not, and then do it, I don't think it'll look, at, I don't know, let's see what it looks like this way. You just gotta play with these things, you know, figure it out as you can. Me tucking this in it might work a little bit better and neater. So if you tuck it in, you do it that way. And then tuck it in kind of like that. But I'm going to get some clamps and I'll be right back. 
Okay, guys, I'm back. What I got is a couple of clamps from Shea Bear here. Uh, and the only reason I did it, I thought it would be make it nice and neater, have, not trying to struggle and trying to, you know, you want to keep it as even as possible, right? So we're gonna, I'm going to do the middle part first, hopefully, with these clamps. I can move them around a little bit as I'm doing it. So we'll see how this one works and go from there. We're just going to do the same thing as we did the other one and just put the glue in there and set it down slowly a little bit at a time. And just kind of try to go along and do a little at a time here. Just, just like that. Hopefully you can see that what I'm doing here. push it. It's very hard to keep it even. I mean, you could really pry sew it. Maybe it would be easier to sew, but I'm just not a sewer, you know. Needle and thread and just zip it back and forth. And then you could put something on top to hide hide all the crap if you want to. You know, you can do that. So, it's up to you. But I think the clamps kind of help a little bit. You know, so then I'm not trying to struggle here a little, like I have been, so. I mean, you're still struggling, but it's not as bad. And I'm going to try to move the clamp a little bit. Maybe if I, God, these things are hard. I'd probably use a smaller one if you had them. But, um, you know, if you have the tiny ones. And uh, I think we do somewhere, but, ah, uh, heck. With everything going on, I don't know if I can even find it right now. So I'm just kind of letting it go. And uh, get it glued down as I can. And just kind of move it. So I'm trying to make it as even as possible to make it neat and tidy, you know? And uh, it's not even I got this idea from one of those five minute things. I believe that's where I found it at one time and I had it in my hand. I was like, oh, that's be cute. But you know those five minute things. They're not really five minutes. <laughs> I wonder how many times they, they get it. They have to do it just to make sure it's perfect. <laughs> so, but... You know, I try to tuck it in and stuff, and it's a little bit hard to tuck in. But it'll be fine, I guess. I mean, it's only for outside. It's just to lay your head on it. Or it just could be just a decoration to, you know, just to pretty it up up there a little bit. Yeah, you know, get tired of nothing. I think I still got glue in there. Yeah, I do. I've used a lot of glue. I have to get another one to stick it down a little bit more. I have to get another glue. There, so. I'm just going to put this clamp here on here. Let it sit there for a minute. So it squeezes it. Yeah, that's a good idea. So you just squeeze it. There. Okay, so what I got over here, I got this one to do. And see, right here, I just, you know, trying to make it as even as possible, and just not wanting to do. So I'm gonna squeeze this together here for a few minutes while I'm doing this end here. I was gonna, I wasn't gonna show you this one, but I'm showing you a different a way where you could kind of tuck it in and make it a little bit neater. Um, you know, it's just. You could probably use um, that E6000 and put it on there. It might be able to be a little bit neater. I don't know. But, you know. And it's just going to be close like that. So that's what I want to do. My cord is not long enough here. To... I might have to get me another one. I think. And, uh, it could be out. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back finally. <laughs> it took me forever to find the uh, 
<laughs> glue stick. I knew I had a bunch of them and I just couldn't find them. So it took me a little bit. So I'm just going to finish up here on this corner. And um, there you go. And you could put something up here. It looks a little bit neater, but anyways. Is this a fail? I would say it's somewhat a fail. Um, well, you know, you could sew it. That would probably make it nicer. Um, you know, the idea of it is cool. Um, but to um, just say it's, let's glue this with a glue gun and it looks like a professional, like, brand new kind of thing, but no, nah, it's not going to do that, but, you know, at least you know, and maybe it gives you an idea of something that you might come up with, you know, it might be a little bit better, and if you want to let me know, then let me know, it's just I just don't have time to do the sewing thing, but after looking for all the glue and all that, you know, it'd probably be a lot neater and look a little prettier, I think. Can I put it inside deeper? Yeah, it could, but then you're going to still have a little little lip there. So, you know, you still got to do the edge and keep it there, you know. So, um, the clamps are a good idea. I would use maybe smaller ones, like, you know. But these will work for right now. And I'm not burning my hand with this. I just came out with this on my own. Um, you know, trying to make it work a little bit so you know I don't know where these five minute things I'd like to really know how long it really takes them because it ain't no five minutes not when you're burning and uh, trying to seal this and all kinds of stuff but if you had some um, you know I have a, a blanket an old blanket that you wanted to put frills along here, you could do that. That would look cute, and that would kind of hide it, you know, a little bit. I do have a green blanket that I used on a video that I was going to do, and it just didn't turn out. <laughs> I wanted to make sure it was going to turn out for us. And then I, I want to still do it, um, but it just takes time, and I need room. And my mother's in the room that I was using, so... And you can't do it outside. It's too humid out there, so... I think it did kind of make it a little bit neater, um, but tucking it in made it a little bit neater, I think, um, you know, but the glue gun's just not working the best, I mean, you know, for it, I think, you could try the e, E6000 if you want, um, but to me it never worked that great, I didn't like that, um, kind of thing, so... You know, it looks kind of amateur here, but that's all I can do for now. And like I say, it's for outside. It's not, it's going to be in the rain. And I'm going to let that sit for a minute. And, you know, I just, I'll be sitting. I'll give you the idea. I'm going to take it out there in a minute and show you. Um... I'm going to check that blanket out and see if it's got any frills on it. And i got to get this corner a little bit better here. So, so we can kind of... I'm using the clamps so I don't burn my hands here. <laughs> and it holds it down quicker. There, just like that. So I think the clamp really kind of helps a lot. Um, yeah. And if you had small ones, you could put them all the way across, take one off and do it, and then do it that way, and probably make it a lot neater, too. Uh, I'm going crazy with this glue. <laughs> it's attacking me. So, uh, yeah, we'll just let that sit for a minute. I'm going to check and see if I can use that blanket, if it has frills on it. I don't remember. And I might put some frills on here, make it look cuter. I'll be right back. So I'm going to bring up my pillow a little bit higher. Okay, so I'm just kind of there. Hey, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Not the way I kind of what I wanted, but I don't know. 
You could probably cut off the corners and do all four corners or three corners maybe and make it more rounded. Um, you know, you could do what you want. I'm going to try to sit in my hammock. I haven't been able to with all this stupid crazy rain. Yay! Hold on. I got one more side here to get my bottom in and hopefully I won't fall out of this thing. <laughs> there we go. And there's my, my pillow. Nice and comfy. Yeah. And I can leave it out here. I made it long ways. I put it long ways. You could put it this way, I guess. Um, yeah. A little noisy. But, you know, hey. It works. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that will work better than I thought. Oops, sorry. I'm trying to bring you out a little bit more. Yeah, not too bad. I might sit here for a few minutes. Should have brought me a drink. Moscow Mule. Hey, Shea Bear. Can you give me a Moscow Mule? He's asleep. So I guess that's out. <laughs> oh, nice breeze. I'm going to sit here for a few minutes and then I'm going to upload this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed in it. It did take a lot longer than it was supposed to. It was supposed to be one of those five minute uh, craft things. That's where I got it from. If you guys can find it and watch it, you might be able to. And, and maybe you'll be able to come up with some ideas to make it a little bit neater and tidier. Um, they're cute. I mean, you know. And I liked it because they could stay out here and they get wet. I'm not worried about it, you know. So anyways... Monkey says she's out for now. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'm going to stay here for a few minutes and enjoy this nice breeze. It's beautiful right now. I guess this is part of the tropical storm or hurricane coming. Um, so we're supposed to get some rain and wind. I don't think we'll get anything. It's all heading to Texas, I guess. And anybody in Texas, I hope you're going to stay safe. And, and hopefully it won't be too bad for you all. So, bye for now, y'all. Have a good day.